Twitch is imploding. And it's our own fault. No, it's not. It's Twitch's fault. It's Twitch and Amazon's greed. And it's the fault that Twitch is um, allowing cam streamers to do whatever the fuck they want. They are allowing Hassan Piker to do whatever the fuck he wants to. And bans Asmongold, bans VTubers. We're about to have another apocalypse. Jumping right in here, the video title says it all. Some people yeah. might view it as hyperbole, but it's not. And today I want to talk about how true. Twitch is titanicking itself on the iceberg of Hassan Piker. And one there of the most spectacular displays of brain dead decision making that I've probably bro, ever. Bro, bro, the things that have been coming about Hassan Pike in the past days, like all the takes he has are ridiculous. Oh my god, they are so bad. I wonder if he's going to show some. I wonder if he's gonna show some. I'm gonna the look them up on the site if I can find wrong, them. There's a lot of dumb things that happen in the industry, but start to finish, we're watching a business destroy itself in real time. If they don't make substantial changes, that is. And so far, the socio-political atmosphere and corporate environment doesn't seem to be letting them make those changes, which is flat out sinking their public reputation and the entire business model. I'm not gonna go down the rabbit hole of showcasing all the individual clips and naming all the streamers involved because it's a cesspool. There's a website that recently popped up called DanClancySucks.com, which- Wait, what? Dan Clancy Twitch is an anti-Semitic hellhole. What? Twitch silently banned the entire country of Israel in October 2023 for over a year. So I heard, yeah. I believe that people who still had an account could still, uh, log in. But... People that didn't have an account couldn't make a new account. I think that that was the issue. It has a hefty number of clips archived on it for those that want to look. But for the sake of summary, I'm just going to do a broad strokes outline. Yeah, Hassan using an ethnic slur against Jews. The top political streamer on Twitch flat out denies any R words happened by Hamas. That That's what I wanted to find. Like, bro, he goes on to say this in the, st in the same stream, I believe. Like, in the same stream, he goes on to say... No, I don't give a fuck if all words happen on that day. The Palestinian defense is not perfect. Is what he said. That's what he said. It's disgusting. And for the type can't of find things it, let's move that on. have been said, so people can understand what the political atmosphere on Twitch has now become. Just for clarity, since I already said his name, the there, 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 there it is. There it is. There it is. Here on Twitch has now become. Just for clarity, since I already said his name, the epicenter of this problem is a streamer named Hassan Piker. And he said oh, his fuck, where was it? What the political atmosphere on Twitch has now. Yeah, Hassan says it's okay to R word rich women. That that's that's the one. That that that's the one. That's that's the one from the the clip that I mentioned. Hassan is very heavily biased in his coverage of this. Why he is absolutely disgustingly playing Hamas propaganda on Twitch. It's disgusting. I'll become. Just for clarity, since I already said his name, the epicenter of this problem is a streamer named Hassan Piper. I agree. And most of the I other agree. people involved are in his direct orbit. They Moderators, are. Moderators, fans, friends, etc. Frogan is a moderator of his. Frogan, thankfully, did get fucking banned for what she said. And all the other ones that were on the a Raps podcast on the Twitch con panel were banned too, apart from Hassan, even though he took part in it too. These people are positioned on the extreme left of the political discourse spectrum, but the term horseshoe theory has probably never been more true in the world of streaming because this radical sect of the extreme left genuinely harbors anti-Semitic mm. beliefs, loosely disguising those beliefs by simply replacing a couple of key terms and phrases That's Rogan. in their everyday dialogue. Again, I agree without with fully them. going down the rabbit hole, instead I agree of with Jew, them, yeah. they say Zionist. Yep. Yep. Instead of ca calling someone a Jew, they call them a Zionist. <laughs> or the, the specific homeless brand to not get TOS. Thankfully, this time, the outrage was loud enough to get them banned. Except the term is now indistinguishable because of their blanket usage. When advocating against Israel in general, they often qualify their calls to violence or extremist rhetoric as being only against the IDF, the Israeli Defense Force, but IDF service is mandatory in Israel, and all citizens above the age of 18 serve for at least two years, with rare exception. There. Would you fucking look at that? It's military service is mandatory in Israel. Would you look at that? Would you look at that? I didn't even know this. I didn't know this. 
and then calling everyone in Israel bad. And still calling everyone in Israel bad. It's disgusting. You know, these people are calling the entirety of Israel bad. And at the same time, when fucking Asmongold speaks up against how both sides are bad, he gets banned. Like, Jesus fucking Christ. On the subject of conspiracy, this group of political extremists denies the legitimacy of pretty much all atrocities committed on October 7th, blaming yeah, Israel course. for much of that tragedy, if you can believe that, under something called the Hannibal Doctrine. And still further, they directly agree with, support, and platform literal terrorists, or make blank statements against U.S. veterans, wishing that more of them would, quote, get PTSD Here as a of their service. There's more, Disgusting. a lot more, but the gist of it is that radical anti-Semitism has grown and festered inside the Twitch community. Hassan complaining of uh, the OS is horrible and he fucking lives in the US? Bro, he's like... The guy is like complete like fucking far left and shit like that and he lives in a mansion and lives in an expensive fucking shit and spends money left and right. Like... Uh, the hypocrisy of this dude, man. People talk for another country when they have no clues what's really going on. Regardless, both sides are not to be praised. I agree. Both sides are in the wrong. Both sides are killing civilians. It's wrong. It's bad. Death is death. No matter who committed it. Like, Jesus Christ. Yes, there's problems, but when you live in a lot of places, you learn every place has a good and bad. That is very true. All places, everywhere, there's good and bad. Everywhere, there's good and bad people. Everywhere, no matter where you are. Like, oh my god. To an extreme degree, which is a problem now coming home to roost as the platform suffers under the self-inflicted strain of allowing radical, hateful, and disgusting content to be consistently amplified across the entire website. With that said, community political extremism isn't the only problem Twitch is facing. On the contrary, the mere existence of extremism probably wouldn't have hurt them all that much if it wasn't happening alongside platform moderation failures, and even more severe, yep. openly disprovable lies at a corporate yep. level, which paint the entire business as being complicit with this- Like, the entire thing in regards of the, um... Let me find it. Let me find this one. This one I can find. All right, I found it. And it's even community noted, chat. It's community noted. This is the tweet. We wanted to address concerns we've seen about whether we're preventing Twitch account signups in some regions. By some regions, they mean Israel. When signing up for a Twitch account, you can select an account verification method, email or phone for added protection. Following the October 7th, 2023 attacks, we temporarily disabled signups with email verification in Israel and Palestine. Why? I don't understand. What's the point even? Like, I generally do not see the point of doing this. What is the point? Like, you are a streaming platform. You're not supposed to be a political platform. We did this to prevent uploads of graphic material related to the attacks and to protect the safety of users. How? If people want to upload shit, they're going to upload shit anyway. What are you talking about? Signups were not disabled, and we continue to see signups from both regions. Users could choose to sign up with phone verifications. We've learned that inadvertently, we did not re enable email verification sign up for either regions. We deeply regret this unacceptable miss and the confusion it has caused. We fixed the issue, meaning all affected users can sign up with email verification. We've also heard concerns about whether our community guidelines apply to all content on our services. We continue to enforce our rules consistently as possible. And we are actively reviewing content and taking enforcement action where needed. This this is such a fuck you statement. This is such a n fucking no statement. This right here. This was in regards of the fucking Frogan situation and Asmongold situation. Saying, oh, we're fair. No, you're not. Either way, community noted. This whole statement is a lie. Both email and phone number signups were disabled. While this was happening, most popular political streamer on the platform was sharing on spinning terrorist propaganda and our apologetics on stream. When we click on these, 
Hey DJ Clancy, bought that mobile sign up. Still working thing. Sure, it doesn't fucking seem like it. Thank god we took recordings before you did damage control. Attach us a video showing the mobile sign up was not working in Israel. DJ Clancy, resign. Anti Semite. I don't know if we can blame DJ Clancy himself for it or if it's like multiple people at the top of your ops and not him. Like, since he is the CEO, he's like the. What do you call it? A scapegoat? I think. If I remember correctly, English is not my first language, so remind me if I'm wrong. The fall guy? Figurehead? Yeah, the figurehead. Yeah, sure. We got this one. Ethan criticizes Hassan for spreading anti-Semitic terrorist propaganda. Scapegoat is correct, Gitsu? Thank you. Then I did remember. Anti-Semitic terrorist propaganda on Twitch. He claims that Hassan is doing the Houthi bidding by sharing... They are music videos. They are very musical people, by the way, to his young and impressionable audience. I guess Twitch CEO DJ Clancy is okay with this platform being used as a safe space for dissemination of radical Islamist ter terrorist propaganda. Who would have thought? Crazy. And uh, one more. Videos are available. Here, that that was... That, that's what doesn't matter if I happened on October 17. Hamas Piker. This, this, this was the... I was trying to find this one. I guess the clip was deleted. So it's kind of hard to find this one. This is the one I was... This is the one I was trying to find. Doesn't matter if our word happened on October 7th. The Palestinian resistance isn't perfect. Literally what he said, word for word, it's disgusting. Well, here it is then. Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter if fucking rapes happen on October 7th. Like, that doesn't change the dynamic for me even this much. So that's the other part of this problem that many people that can't contend with, like the Palestinian resistance is not perfect. It doesn't matter. Disgusting. Disgusting. To say that it doesn't matter, like, well, one of the changes by technology, technology does as mankind nature and change the fundamental level of technology that warp around these nature keep getting worse. Yeah, Hassan will say anything, but sure doesn't realize his own actions can fall on him like a nuke that we sure hope doesn't happen on us. I am so happy with how outraged so many creators are at the moment with all the shit Hassan has been saying and he's getting away with it. It's disgusting. It's disgusting. I'm sure they are worried in self-defense, right? Yeah, yeah, <laughs> clearly in self-defense. Doesn't matter. Doesn't change the dynamic, why? Why? How does what, like... <sighs> both wrongs, it just, it doesn't make it right. They're both wrongs. Neither of them are right. Like, I, I just... It's like the equivalent of saying war crimes or atrocities that our country does never happened. Yeah, by the way, by the way, he later on goes to say that it didn't happen. That all the outwards didn't fucking happen. That's what he goes on later to say, that it wasn't actually confirmed. Kind of hateful conduct. Disgusting. See, it turns out that Twitch was deliberately blocking all signups from Israel beginning shortly after the October 7th. Oh, oh he, he, okay, he showed the tragedy okay. and when apologizing for this, the company stated Me. quote we temporarily disabled signups with email verification in israel and palestine we did this to prevent uploads of graphic material related to the attack and to protect the safety of users signups were not disabled and we continue to see signups from both regions users could choose to sign up with phone verification we've learned that inadvertently we did not re-enable yeah, trying to save face signups for either region and as a blanket statement is blanket statement is blanket statement correct? I don't think so. As a statement by itself, as a statement by itself, if we didn't have any further context to this, if no one tried to dispute it, it would seem like a good statement. Like, oops, we fucked up. We actually fucked up. It would seem as a good defense, but the fact that it's proven that both were disabled, that's a really fucking bad look for Twitch. That's a really ass fucking bad look for Twitch, man. However, multiple first hand accounts tired and of this man. Yeah, I get that. the website itself dispute that claim, showing that phone verification was also not working, and that Twitch Damn. had seemingly decided to blanket ban the sign-up process completely. 
Keep in mind, none of this is happening in a vacuum. Twitch has been widely criticized for years over unfair, highly biased moderation efforts, where some streamers will be selectively banned while others receive no punishment whatsoever. Yeah! I'm looking away from the political shit. Facecam streamers. All the facecam streamers, all the more spicy facecam streamers compared to VTubers. Mm. Crazy. No double standards. None. None! Ever for equal or substantially worse infractions. The terms of service has been unevenly enforced, categorically, and the wider community has no actual indication of how they should act, beyond a general sentiment that left-leaning political extremism is totally okay, and anything right of center is at risk. And whether- Ridiculous. Does that mean I'm at risk because I'm very center? Does it mean I'm at risk because I think both sides are shit? Like, what the fuck? That's retarded. Ugh, I hate, like, this This is literally the left, though. Like, the far left anyway. And the far right, too. Both sides are like that. If you're not with them, you're against them. You're the biggest threat, kids. Oh my god. I'm a VTuber. I'm a woman. I'm a German. I'm a left centrist or something. I'm, holy shit, I'm the worst of the worst. <laughs> I'm the worst of the worst. I'm a, I have a chibi model at the moment. Holy shit. I'm the worst. Kids are German instant bad. Kids. <laughs> okay, okay. Zap, uh, mods, I think we should delete that message. I don't think that message is uh, good to have. Not that impression is actually true. It doesn't really matter because gotta, that's, gotta what chill a bit. that's what their actions have been that's clearly okay. showing. Here's the thing. Being a biased platform doesn't mean your business has to fail. But Twitch is in sure. a uniquely bad position here because they don't have They're too biased systems at scale. The best comparison here is probably YouTube. Well, obviously YouTube, which experienced an adpocalypse a number of years ago. Oh, yeah. Actually, multiple adpocalypses spread across a number of years. I think the biggest one was probably the PewDiePie Bridge incident. I think that was the biggest one that I remember anyway of today, of, uh, up until this day. And I, I genuinely think there's going to be an apocalypse gone, going to happen on Twitch. It, it's gonna happen. Advertisers, there are already advertisers in, investigating what's happening. And if Twitch doesn't fucking change their behavior, they're gonna lose their money. And we're going to have an apocalypse. Oh well. Thankfully, YouTube is my main income. Hey. Years. But in response, YouTube. Peter Pie Bridge is a tipping point, if I remember. You know what? I actually think you're right. That that was actually the tipping point. Like, that there was already shit happening, and that was literally, like, the cherry on top. Built out an entire system where they can selectively classify content to different categories, such as ad safe, limited advertising, or even demonetized. That system sucks in a lot of different ways, and you're not going to catch me praising it, but its rudimentary purpose is at the very least functional, because it allows content to exist on the website that is shocking or provocative or unsafe. Sure. Sure, but at the same time, if a video is demonetized, it will get less um, pushed in the algorithm. I don't want to use the word advertise because it doesn't have any advertiser. It will get less pushed in the algorithm by YouTube. So fundamentally, a video is gonna do very bad and the content potentially might not e even be seen. Yes, it is still out there and it is still a possibility, so it exists. It's a okay system. Let's not talk about how they do the demonetization. That, that system sucks ass. But it's better than what Twitch has at the moment. Safe for brands, with air quotes there, without destroying the collective advertising potential of the entire platform. I will have belief that when ads is being pulled from Twitch, Amazon will just kill Twitch just because. At the moment, Twitch, even though Twitch is being said to not make money, like to not be, uh. sorry, to not be profitable. Like it's not like it's not making money. It's not profitable, but it is a loss leader. That is a term. Twitch Prime is actually hella good. Like Twitch Prime and Amazon Prime, it actually brings in fucking shit. Twitch is a tax write-off for Amazon. That might actually be a case, man. That actually might be the case. <laughs> Damn, actually just a fucking text write-off. Jesus Christ, man. Let me explain a little bit better here. 
YouTube through Google allows pretty mm-hmm. much anyone to advertise on their platform. A hundred dollars, a thousand dollars, a million dollars, doesn't matter because sure. you can just sign up and use their advertising portal to run campaigns and just give your own stuff, fill out the information, click, run, done. This yeah. has a variety of problems associated like scammers and fraudsters running tens of thousands of ads across the platform, which I've covered extensively in the past. Shout out to Guardio, by the way, for protecting Chrome users from all of that phishing and malware website trash. And I directly contribute oh. to their threat database myself, so I recommend it to viewers wholeheartedly. I'll have a link down below to their service. But anyway, despite being an imperfect system, YouTube and Google's advertising pipeline, combined with their ability to let advertisers choose where their content will be shown, makes it so that the website can realistically have everything from kid-friendly nursery rhymes to certain political extremism without threatening the entire advertiser ecosystem. I mean, there's a reason we had a few apocalypses so far. I wouldn't say it doesn't threaten it. If people go too far with shit, advertisers will pull out. We're not safe anywhere. We're not safe anywhere. We are always in the... in the mercy? But oh, how, how do you how do you say it? We are always in the fucking mercy and the fucking shit of the advertisers. You know what I mean? The advertisers in the end are the payer at mercy of that. That's the one. We are always at mercy of the advertisers. Yeah, Twitch doesn't have that. Should it have has none mercy. of that actually. In order for people to advertise on Twitch through Amazon. They need a direct relationship with the company and a massive initial ad spend to even qualify. Twitch advertising doesn't come from regular businesses and everyday people. It comes from Mm. large clients who run huge amounts of money through the platform, and all of those ads show up on every single valid stream. This is a problem, because when a small subset of the creator community goes down this kind of extremist rabbit hole, brands are now having their ads shown alongside literal terrorist amplification, which is a completely unappealing prospect for them. And to make it worse... The broader community on Twitch is acutely aware of this and now weaponizing it against them. Yep, that's what I've been saying. Contact the advertisers. Get to the advertisers. If advertisers knew what was going on on Twitch, holy guacamole, people are starting to contact the advertisers. People are starting to contact the advertisers. And I think that's a good thing. Fuck them. Fuck them. If they don't, like... I'm on a sinking ship, right? I am on a sinking ship right now. And it's up to Twitch to fucking improve this. If Twitch goes down, I can always go to YouTube, right? If Twitch does go down, we, we'll we just go to YouTube chat. It's, it's not that big of a deal to me. Like, I like... Overall, I like Twitch's interface for streaming. Twitch, in the end, is the best streaming service there is, objectively, in all the features it does have. But if Twitch goes down, we, we'll just go to YouTube. <laughs> we, we'll just go to YouTube. Like, genuinely. Like, it's not that big of a deal. There are multiple very large-scale communities who have now explicitly begun calling for advertisers to be contacted. Yeah. And this is where I myself get a little bit mixed on the issue, because that's a pretty scary thing to see happen as a creator. As a side story here, I've had that happen to me before, where a journalist spent, like, six months going around. I hope YouTube just sees Twitch's formats. The other thing with YouTube is YouTube really doesn't care about live streaming too much because they know Twitch is just too well known for streaming. And in the end, it would be too much of a money sink for YouTube. YouTube knows they got YouTube knows they got videos down, and YouTube is now putting their money into shorts, which I think is a smarter thing for them to do, in all honesty. But yeah, if Twitch, uh, not Twitch, if YouTube had a better streaming interface, yeah, I'd, I'd go there. If I watch kids on YouTube, it's going to put even more German videos in my recommendations. <laughs> I speak in English, though! I don't advertise myself as a German VTuber. Around or YouTuber. Around advertisers and trying to get me and a few other creators as well demonetized. So regardless of who I see targeted by this, the idea of going after sponsors and ads, in my opinion, is a little bit dicey. I would say it is if it's for um, individuals. If that is for individuals, yes. 
for individuals that is very dicey spicy and kind of shitty to do right like if someone fucking disagreed with what they said and they would go to like fucking game of subs and say hey look look what she said how dare she why are you partnered with her right like that that's a fucking piece of shit thing to do like that's a pos shit thing of do but since we are talking about corpus here i think the only way corpus listen is if we attack the advertisers that's the only fucking way there is no other way they won't listen the only thing they listen to is money and the money comes from the advertisers however my personal feelings are somewhat irrelevant on this because one side of the political spectrum has been using this tactic relentlessly for years and now the same thing is happening right back at them through twitch Make no mistake, this is an apocalyptic situation for Twitch as a platform, because they have unevenly enforced their moderation terms for the past, what, decade, leading to a lack of community respect for them as a company. More recently, yeah. they have allowed left-wing extremism to fester and grow with no they pushback whatsoever, disgusting leading to a wave of indefensible or inexcusable statements across the way. I mean, it's gotten so disgusting. Holy shit, I'm pausing a lot of this video, I apologize. But it's gotten so disgusting that... It's getting so disgusting and so big of a problem that me, who usually doesn't fucking care about political shit, is talking about it. I don't usually give a fuck about politi politics, man. Like, politics are too above my head. I was straight up saying, I feel too dumb to talk about politics. But this, this has me angered. This is bullshit. Website. And now, those statements are being shown to advertisers by opposing communities leaving Twitch in a situation that can't be solved by anything other than very heavy-handed enforcement of their own terms, which they have been deliberately ignoring and not doing for years. Stuff is already happening behind the scenes, by the way. I'm not in the know on this per se, but there's pretty reputable creators discussing it who are actually being contacted by people at Twitch or Amazon. And the general sentiment that I've been seeing creep forward right now is that the advertisers are basically in shock, like open shock at how bad the association can there be it is. them, as well as what kind of content- There it is, they just had no idea, because they don't give a fuck. All they give a fuck about is that they make the money off of the ads. And as long as the views are coming in and uh, money is being made off of the ads, they don't usually care, because they think they can trust the people they're working with. But what they fucking do? Twitch sucks. Their products can be shown against, leading to a massive retraction in potential business for Twitch as a platform, which is, I don't know, a couple weeks, maybe a month or two away from hitting full force. My timeline could be wrong easily, but this issue isn't going anywhere. It's and escalating more and more. The result of extremists in their broadcaster community are only ever getting worse. The reason I think, or that I've read and that I do agree with, that Hassan isn't banned is because the elections are happening soon. Or the elections are con uh, currently happening. And the THE election, the finals of the election, is happening soon. And Hassan being a highly political person to going to talk about it is going to make Twitch a lot of money. I think that's a very logical reason to look at why Twitch hasn't banned him, I would say. Only a few days in Latin America, I believe. Yeah, I think so. And to say that that might be the reason why he hasn't been banned so far? I don't think that's so far-fetched, in all honesty. I really don't think that's so far-fetched. I think that could be a reason. It's kind of hard to really communicate the gravity of the situation Russia to people wants who don't really frequent and YouTube? the website, what? but the level of extremism, if applied to any other group in the entire world, would be jaw-dropping levels of reaction immediately. Yeah. If the statements yep. being made by certain Twitch broadcasters were tweaked ever so slightly and applied to quite literally any other racial or ethnic group on the planet, they would all be deplatformed instantly. Somehow, the prevailing social yeah. norms inside Twitch have degraded to a point where they have completely lost the plot and become a protection racket, really, for heinous levels of anti-Semitism, masquerading as anything other than hateful. It's disgusting. If Trump wins, Twitter will burn. Why? To be honest, I really don't care who wins this time. Trump would just mean better memes. <laughs> I... From my little knowledge, like, I, I don't have any eggs in the basket with this one, right? I, I got no dogs in this dogfight or whatever. However you want to say this. Like, to me, the trump Kamala uh, thing, from my limited knowledge, I think Trump is the better candidate. 
I do think, like, from my limited knowledge, from my limited knowledge, I do think Trump is the better candidate co- if we compare the two. They're both, like, bad. But overall, Trump does seem like the better candidate. Which is crazy. Like, I would have laughed in your face if you told me I would say that. <laughs> Based the other one is a woman. <laughs> Come on, man. I mean, Trump is a better comedian. The other one, that is true. Like, what Kamala has been doing, she's been panicking lately. All Kamala has been doing recently, instead of advertising and advocating for her own campaign, what she's been doing is spreading hate about Trump. Which is just like, what? 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 Like, she realized, well, doesn't work. Well, fucking smear campaign him. Trump may actually help the economy while Kamala most likely won't. I agree. And Kamala has been the vice president for the past, what, three, four years now? Three and a half years? Like, Trump does have a point with that. All the people do have a point with this. Like, she has been the vice president. Why hasn't it already happened? Why is she saying she's going to do it now, you know? Trump also has no almost near end attempt to help him out. You know, with Trump, with, again, limited knowledge, I am a European who's not very interested in politics, especially, like, overseas politics. To me, it's just entertainment. But Trump's strategy to, like, try to calm wars down is to befriend the other people in power. And I think that is absolutely fucking smart. I think that is actually such a fucking smart thing. And... I don't think a lot of American presidents, from what I heard, have ever really done that. First official female president if she wins. Yeah, but not a very good president. I don't quite agree with you on that point, but it is too much to go on about. Yeah, that's what I mean. As said, I have limited knowledge about the thing. My knowledge comes from fucking social media, so take it with a grain of salt. Take it with a grain of salt, definitely. Hard to disagree with uh, the opinion, but I ain't gonna dig into it. Yeah, 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 asset. Asset. Take it with a grain of salt. Limited knowledge. I'm not into politics and I'm a European. I, I, don't, I don't vote. Neither of them are my president. Neither of them are going to be my president. So, limited knowledge here. Grain of salt. Moving on. And the music is about to stop because advertisers are not gonna tolerate this and weaponization of the advertisers is now a default tactic in the online culture war. Just in case I haven't fully outlined this towards the end, just so there can be no doubt whatsoever, even though I said I wouldn't go too far down the rabbit hole on specifics, one of the largest broadcasters on the entire platform who is consistently shielded from accountability in every respect, played a straight up terrorist propaganda video live on stream and joked about how they like to put the Israeli and American flags down next to each other and march over them. He refers to it as a musical, unironically propagating it to his audience. That's disgusting. And some of the most flagrant TOS, like terms of service violations on Twitch that you can possibly imagine for him and a variety of others. And nothing happens to him. I promise you, when advertisers are seeing this as it gets relentlessly spammed to them, rightly by his alarmed critics, they are noticing and they are taking action. Personally, I find Good. myself pretty much okay with the platform failing outright. It's been going down in flames for years at this point. I stopped streaming back in like what 2018 for a variety of reasons. And what even know yeah, was ever since. But there's a lot of people that really do just play video games on the website, and they Damn. honestly don't deserve to face an ad apocalypse because the moderation team and a free. No, of course not. Of course they don't. Of course. I don't think I deserve the apocalypse. <laughs> I don't think I did anything to deserve the apocalypse. Of course not. But it needs to happen. It does need to happen for Twitch to better themselves. It do- I think it does need to happen. Yeah, I'm like, well, thanks to the biddies. Fringe group of extremists have gone totally unhinged. Realistically, it would be a much better outcome for the platform to wake up and improve while suspending these people immediately, but I just don't really see that happening anytime soon, or it probably would have already. In the end, Twitch is facing a pretty devastating ad apocalypse. They brought it on themselves, and the platform uh, yeah. is about to undergo either radical changes or crash out fully. Yes. One or the other. There's no middle yes. ground. 
They yes. either change completely, start banning these yep. people, yep. kind of overturn their entire business model for the past couple of years, or they fail as a platform. That's it. If you yes. want to support the channel, check out the links down below. A special VPN it's deal. It's true. Locals and Patreon, other special offers. That's one or the other. But I'll cut it there and stop rambling. As always, thank you all for watching. Question everything and have a nice night. Unfortunately, unfortunately, it's most likely going to be the crash out. Unfortunately, it's most likely going to be the crash out, which is very, very disappointing. I would love for them to improve. I would fucking love it. Like, I hope for them to improve. I hope for them to rectify their fucking shit that they've done. I'm not having much hope for it, though. Like, I pray for it, but I don't have much hope. I do not have much hope for it. I don't think... I don't think it's gonna happen. I don't think so, unfortunately. Both don't really care that much and intentionally leaving some of these problems unresolved. Wait, what? Clubside sabotage by the... Okay, okay, it's about Trump and shit. Whatever. We need some laughing in case. <laughs> no, sorry, not now. Um, either way, that will be all in regards of this video. Thanks for watching, YouTubes.